a major hurricane now, winds of 115 miles per hour. It's bumping up against the coast of Cuba, so making landfall, its first landfall. And uh, this is in Cuba. Everything that it's done up until this morning has been expected. Took some time to develop, eventually became a major hurricane. Now, once it moves north of the Cuban coast and goes back out over the water again, that water in the southeastern Gulf is ripe for intensification. So I would expect it's not going to stop at 115 mile per hour winds. So the good thing is now that we have this storm on radar, the actual eye, it, I mean, it can't go anywhere without us knowing it now, right? It, 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 so that's the good news is that we can track it now really just watching that eye minute by minute hour by hour you see the satellite picture boy that part of cuba is probably getting just absolutely hammered right now with those hurricane force winds and the tremendous amount of rain the computer models and all week we've been saying oh, it could go west it could go west it could go east. well folks look i mean <laughs> pick a line it, it doesn't matter at this point. Parts of our viewing area will be impacted significantly no matter which part of that, whichever one of those comes to fruition. Here is the official forecast from the National Hurricane Center, which brings it on shore now as a Category 2 storm. But as the storm begins to weaken, it's going to slow down. And that is our major, major problem. Because you're looking at hurricane force winds, or if you're well inland, tropical storm force winds, for an extended period of time. This is not going to be in and out of here in six hours. This is going to take a couple of days. So when you stall a storm or slow it down like this, the numbers go up. The numbers for the winds go up. The numbers for the storm surge go up. The numbers for the water go up. And therein lies our major problem. Now, if you're watching just to the north of Fort Myers, let's say you're watching around Englewood or Venice, and you're saying, hey, Dave, don't worry. This thing's heading up toward you. Tampa Bay, right? Listen. It could easily make it to that part of the cone as well. So don't let your guard down, please, if you live down there. Yes, the models are bringing it toward the Tampa area. But remember, it could also slink a little bit south and still be within that cone. Chances of us getting 40 mile per hour winds are 100%. It's going to happen. And rainfall amounts, this is my main concern. 10 plus inches of rain on top of a 5 to 10 foot storm surge is going to cause significant issues in Hillsborough County, Pinellas County, Manatee, and Sarasota. There's no doubt about it. Pass goes well. Hurricane warnings, Pinellas, Hillsborough, Manatee, Sarasota. Watches to the north. Inland, right now as we speak, tropical storm warnings. And there's your storm surge projected to be about 5 to 10 feet. So to be honest with you, not much has really changed from yesterday. Um, everything is on target. And I need everybody to finish your preparation today. And then when you get home, you're just going to stay there. Unless you're under that mandatory evacuation, then you got to get out. Okay?